It's great to be with you today for another daily devotion. And I want to take you to Acts chapter 2. It's here that at the conclusion of Peter preaching, now he's filled with the Holy Spirit. And this is an incredible moment. Peter, who was so afraid to share the gospel, so afraid to be identified with Jesus. Remember when he was following Jesus, when Jesus was taken and beaten and he stayed at a distance and then he denied that he even knew Jesus three times? Well, that same Peter is now preaching in Jerusalem where Jesus was crucified. The Holy Spirit has his heart and he knows that Jesus is alive. And that's the difference. When you know that Jesus is alive, when you believe that, it changes things. And the Holy Spirit was using Peter. And he's, all he's doing is preaching. And when he finishes his message, I want you to hear what the people said. He says these words to the crowd first. So let everyone in Israel know for certain that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, to be, to be both Lord and Messiah. Peter's words pierced their hearts. And they said to him and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? You see, the Holy Spirit was behind what Peter was preaching. So yes, it was Peter's mouth. And it was coming out of his mouth and he, they, people could hear it. But the Holy Spirit was using those words. Peter convinced of the Savior and of people's need for a Savior. Preached. But it was the Holy Spirit that was at work in people's hearts. And they said, what should we do? It pierced their hearts. Now, the question for you and I today, is, is that still possible? Can the Holy Spirit, which I believe this, that the Holy Spirit can touch people's hearts if we pray about our words and what will come out of our mouth every day? Could it be possible that we would meet a store clerk who's having a terrible day, a down and out day, on that the Holy Spirit will use our words, our greeting, how nice we are to influence them. Could it be that somebody might say, well, what do you think I should do? What should I do? Now remember something here. It says this, the words pierce their hearts. May our greetings and the way we treat people and the words that come out of our mouth influence people and pierce their hearts to the point that they, well, what do I do? Listen to what Peter said. Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. May God use our words. May we realize the power of Holy Spirit-infused words. That's our prayer. Would you join with me? Lord, we pray today that you would indeed do that that you would infuse our words, infuse them with the power of your Holy Spirit, just as you used Peter's words to reach thousands. May you use our words as we pray to you and seek you and want to live for you. Jesus, Holy Spirit, infuse our words that we might be able to lead others and share with them about the power of the gospel. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.